Goku's true power goes even further beyond death battle. Now, look, I ain't gonna lie. They've been trying to play my man Goku since he fought Superman way back in the day, like five years ago, which is crazy that Superman ended up winning that battle. But I guess they 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 seen that they that everybody knew the cap and they readdressing it. So hopefully they get Goku right. I see the video is 10 on trending, so we're going to check it out. Sponsored by BetterHelp. Everybody know Goku being Superman. Let's be real. Far away, in an enchanted land, an old master found a boy and marveled at his uncommon about. strength. This is the story of Son Goku. Chances are, if you've watched some localized anime, you can thank this guy. Inspired by martial arts films and his wife's interest in Chinese culture, Akira Toriyama crafted the story and the character that would define generations to come. Dragon Ball! Kakarot was born a low-class Saiyan on the planet Vegeta, narrowly escaped its destruction by Frieza, and was raised on Earth by happy old Grandpa this. Gohan. Not just raised, but trained. Gohan began Goku's teaching in martial arts, which he would find to be his true calling under the guidance of Master. Hey, it's crazy how this show ended up becoming what it really is. Like, you would never think this man right here would probably be one of the strongest characters in fictional history. You'd never think it. Roshi. W Specifically, he learned the Kame Senen Ryu style, which focuses on discipline and tenacity both of which strongly define Goku's character. The more he learned, the more he wanted to improve. This little low-class monkey boy would prove that hard work and dedication can beat raw talent. Within just a few years, he was so strong, I know that back the only worthy the anime teachers too. left were gods and a talking cat, but mostly gods. When you're training to dodge lightning, you know you're a few uh, leagues uh, over everyone else. Key. He did have a slight advantage. Saiyans are naturally superhuman. They also take Nietzsche's famous words, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, very, very literally. It's almost unfair how much of a boost in power they get after they're hurt. While Saiyans like Vegeta may have abused this trait, it suits Goku. No matter how many times you knock him down, he will get back up stronger than before. It helps that he knows that so many That fight was cool crazy too, I ain't gonna lie. That's like in my top Kamehameha. three fights of all time. An incredibly powerful technique that focuses one's key into a single point for a devastating beam. So challenging, it took Roshi decades to master, but Goku got it in like five seconds. It's incredibly versatile with over 50 different variations. For example, Goku can curve the beam after firing or even shoot it from his feet. But unlike most Saiyans, he doesn't just use key to blow sh Now look, I ain't gonna lie. Goku, hey, this Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super Series kind of put folks on. I ain't gonna lie. I remember back in the day when, when folks was going ahead and turning Super Saiyan like, like, man, this should really go deep. Like, it go back. I ain't gonna lie. It was a big, it was a big thing in my childhood. And, and to really see it evolve into what it is and how everybody like you know hopping on the hopping on the trend you know it's crazy to me shit up moves like the solar flare energy be honest be honest y'all hop on the trend not, not all of y'all not all of y'all day one dragon ball fans keep it on it keep it on it because while Goku isn't exactly book smart, he is a genius when it comes to martial arts. He doesn't just train to conquer his opponents, but to conquer himself. He's also got some different moves, like trapping you in a rice cooker. Well, pretty much any container could be used for the Mafaba ceiling technique. Then there's Kaioken, AKA instant steroids. Goku's multiplied his power by 20 with it before, and in a movie, he even got it up to times 100. What a badass. The Genki Dama, or Spirit Bomb, is potentially his strongest attack, but it requires considerable bro, time. Bro, I gotta speak on the Spirit Bomb. Now look, bro, if that ain't the dumbest move in anime or, or any fictional history i don't know what it is dude literally stands there charges up his attack for 10 minutes that's bad writing on to on on akira toriyama i swear to god unlike instant transmission which is a teleport that's like just instant the way it works is goku headaches. detects another person like a sort of beacon then teleports to their location by launching himself through an alternate dimension where time stands still yes according to the daisenshu guidebook it's a dimension hop you can actually see this in between space and some movies and games and the dubs wanted us to think it shot goku's molecules around Wait, at on, light speed works okay. as goku detects another person like a sort of beacon then teleports to their location by launching 
launching himself through an alternate dimension where time stands still. Yes, according okay, to the so Dicentric Guidebook, it's works. a dimension hop. You can actually see this in between space in some movies and games. And the dubs wanted us to think it shot Goku's molecules around at light speed. Silly English. But if you're looking for online therapy that you can access nearly as quickly, try out so Goku BetterHelp. Can freeze this time video too. is sponsored by BetterHelp. It's that time of year again. The weather's this getting colder. Uh, the days are getting shorter. It's the seasonal blues. Okay. As quick as instant Let transmission. Just get this part. I'm gonna instant transmission to get more beer. No. Let's see it. Okay. <laughs> All right. I guess. Did it. What? Instant transmission. No, you just ran. I saw you. Uh, no, my molecules moved at the speed of light. I can see the fridge uh, right there. Here we yeah. All right. So I guess that's the end of the video. I guess they're doing a Goku versus Superman rematch, and it's going to be wild. And we already know who's going to win. Hey, if you want to put some money on it, you know, say something in the comments. Because I, I bet I bet some bread on, on Goku, that's for sure.